five cooking oils you thought were healthy but actually aren't. Gonna break it down right now, how you use them, which ones to use, what should be in your cupboard, what's in my cupboard, why are these toxic, and what is it actually doing to your body? You're gonna find that out right now. A couple of them might shock you, especially number five. I'm gonna get to this in a moment. So, why does this matter? Number one is there's a balance inside of your body of the inflammation that's being created. Inflammation's there to heal you. Too much of it, though, can harm you. Omega-3s and omega-6s, these fats, are primarily responsible. They're one of the main driving forces of either creating or reducing inflammation in your body. The typical American diet, especially oils that we use in so many of our processed foods, fast foods and foods you see in the grocery store, have a lot of omega-6s. When there's a high amount of omega-6, there's a high amount of inflammation. You do need some healthy omega-6s, but we traditionally get a lot of unhealthy 6s that you're gonna see in the oils I'm gonna cover. We don't get enough omega-3s. So the gap of a lot of omega-6s and few omega-3s is inflammation. So by choosing the proper oil, you can reduce the amount of toxic omega-6 in your body. And by choosing the right oils and foods, you can increase the omega-3s and lower the inflammation, which Time Magazine calls the root cause of 98% of all disease. So what oil do we pick? Number one out of the gates, canola. Canola has been touted as a healthy, alternative, good. Mm. It's made from a rapeseed and the rapeseed pure oil uh, is actually not for human consumption because what it's allowed in the rapeseed oil is a larger amount of toxicity and hexane. They use hexane to wash this seed and then they scrape off enough of the processed byproduct smell and nasty material so it doesn't go into the human body. And what's left they, is called canola oil that they use. They use rapeseeds for other things, rapeseed oil. It's highly genetically modified and it's highly, highly processed to get to an oil that you can then consume. It's also very high in omega-6s. This is an inflammation trap. If you got a heart issue, metabolic issue, liver issue, autoimmune issue. If you're a human, stay away from canola oil. Number two, peanut oil. We oftentimes fry in this. It's also touted as a healthy oil, but it is not. It is high in unsaturated fats, which by nature I don't have a problem with. It's just they're unstable. If you're using that to fry, you're heating it to high temperatures. That's called the smoke point. The smoke point of this oil makes it very unstable to go rancid. If it goes rancid inside your body, you're putting an oil that has now changed its chemical structure. It is now going to be oxidizing inside of the body. It's gonna be congested inside of the body. It's gonna clog up your cells, clog up your liver. We wanna go the other direction from that. It's very high in omega-6s, which tend to be very unstable. You don't know what they're doing. They're kind of sketchy inside the system. And that unstableness creates unstable cells and creates a lot of inflammation. Peanut oil, whoosh, we gotta go. In fact, it's a great idea. Canola, gone. Peanut, gone. Vegetable is next. These are usually flat fat blends of different you know, soybeans, vegetables, cotton seeds. These different ones are touted in a lot of health foods that are claiming to be healthy, yet they contain this vegetable oil that is a highly processed oil. It takes a lot to get from a soybean or cotton seed into an oil. The more processing that has to take place, the more chemicals used, the more washing of hexane and these materials creates the oil to be very unstable and very toxic. It is also very, very high in omega-6s. So that's the big barometer, that's the trend. A lot of omega-6s, this is an inflammation-causing oil. See you later, vegetable oil. We always try to avoid those. Sunflower, ooh, stick me with me on this one. Some is bad, some is great. Which is which? The linoleic version of sunflower oil is the instable, high omega-6, oxidizes very quickly inside of your body, which means raising your cholesterol levels, raising your lipids. However, the high oleic version, oleic version, is very stable. And research actually shows, and studies show, it helps lower lipid levels. It helps lower cholesterol levels. So stay away from the sunflower linoleic version. If your sunflower oil in yours doesn't specify that it is either organic or high oleic, then I would stay away from it. Organic or high oleic. And, or you ask the supplier, if they can't tell you, then you wanna stay away from it. So that version of sunflower oil is gone, stay with high oleic and you're safe. Olive, er? Olive, what? Dr. Livingood, you gotta be kidding me. Now hold up. Olive can just be made bad very quickly. And so I see sometimes 
mayonnaise by Hellman's that has olive oil in it and a lot of products that have olive oil but it doesn't necessarily make it safe. You can see giant containers of olive oil, a gallon of it in a see-through container. I know in a second that that's an olive oil that's going to be rancid in my body because olive oil can turn into and create peroxide, peroxide very quickly if exposed to light or too much heat. So an expo a long exposure in light, that's why a lot of it comes in a green bottle or a dark bottle. If it's in that clear bottle, I wouldn't buy it. And if you heat it too hot, you can make your olive oil bad. Also, you know the olive oil is already bad if it doesn't say the word virgin or extra virgin on the bottle. Virgin or extra virgin, this means way less processing, but you can very quickly get toxic olive oil that you think you're buying as a health food and it's a see-through container, it doesn't say virgin, it doesn't say extra virgin, and then you go and heat it and you fry some food on the stove or fry an egg on the stove, I generally try not to heat olive oil. I use it in salads, along with maybe a grapeseed oil would be another version of this that I use in salads or, or in like some kind of mixture I'm making. It contains phenols, it contains antioxidants, it contains a ton of nutrients that are really good for your system. It's very pro good cholesterol. It helps in the Mediterranean diet to help good fats. It keeps all of this damage out of there. It's, it's even good on the omega-6, omega-3 front. However, don't make a good one bad. So what do you use? This is going to be kind of a half cross out, right? We're gonna leave the, the non-version. We don't want a low and we don't want the peroxide. So make sure it's that, don't expose it to light. You can use olive, it's great. Uh, otherwise, avocado, you can heat up really hot. It's saturated, so it's real stable. Uh, coconut oil, you can heat fairly hot. I use that low to medium heat. And then in salads, olive and grapeseed oil. The type of fat you eat is incredibly important. I believe almost more important than sugar. And your carbs in this country is healthy fats. Because if you have unhealthy fats, you got inflammation. Then if you have too many carbohydrates, you got a lot of insulin problems. And then you got a major problem. But good news, you are the solution. I am the solution to lowering the amount of sugars that you eat, cleaning up the fats, and we made this really easy for you. There's a free copy of my book below where I break down exactly these five guidelines of how to eat, how to identify this, and how to get carbohydrates and bad fats out of your life without giving up all the foods that you love. So there's a free copy of that below. You can click the link and get it and subscribe to the channel. I'll keep bringing you these type of tidbits and getting truth with stuff that you thought was healthy that's actually not. Pass this one on to someone else that you know needs to hear this, who's maybe using that cooking oil, a mom or an aunt, and maybe they'll learn a little bit something about it as well. Which one are you like to, do you like to use the best? What's your favorite oil to cook in? Comment below, subscribe, and check out one of those free books.